It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogona Art family. Today, we're going to be speaking about whether or not you should help someone that doesn't, that don't want to help themselves. And so in this video, I'm going to be speaking, speaking about my personal experience in helping another person that doesn't, that don't want to, uh, you know, help themselves. And, you know, what I went through, what went through my mind, because that experience inspired the video that I'm making today. And I feel that when we try to help people that don't want to help themselves, we end up taking on board a whole load of stress onto our, ourselves, a whole load of unnecessary stress. And so oftentimes we get a strong pull to want to help another person. And that strong pull may be due to the fact that the other person is going through a particular experience that we've that we that we've went through and we've you know overcome therefore we want to help that other person overcome their issues and the issue that remains is what if that other person doesn't care and they don't want to continue to grow or evolve or they or they just want to uh, continue to feel that that same lostness that they have in their lives and now this can be a, a family member a friend or a loved one and so there's this saying that you can't force the horse to to drink the water so you can bring a horse to the river however the horse has to make the choice to drink the water you can't force the horse to drink the water and so the same thing applies to anyone else that we're helping uh for anyone that we're that we're attempting to help there needs to be a uh, a two-part it needs to be reciprocal both parties need to have an intention to evolve you know if the other party just doesn't want to do it then you're 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 wasting your time and it'll arise unnecessary stress for both parties for the person that you're helping and yourself and so i can also attest to this because you know long story short i've been i've been in this situation you know recently and so i have this family i have this family member who i've been uh, attempting to help for quite some time now However, the, the interaction isn't being reciprocated and, you know, some advice isn't being followed. And I've been on and off on trying to help this person for years because, you know, it's just been one-sided all this time. And so now I'm just finally, I feel like, you know, just letting that go, letting that unnecessary stress go. And, and although I really want to see this person become their best selves, if the other person isn't interested, then I can't do anything, you know? And so the, the two, you know, things that that change a human's direction is, you know, they're either inspired by something or, you know, they get, there's this uh, very traumatic accident that happens to them that causes them to eventually change. And sometimes it can feel annoying when you have friends and family placing the responsibility onto you to take care of the other person. You don't want to be responsible for another person's well-being that don't, that don't want to help themselves, regardless of what anyone says. And the process can become mentally, emotionally, and physically draining. And it may hinder your progress in other areas of your life. And so I feel now the best possible choice is to lead through example become an example for everyone become the lighthouse become an inspiring light lighthouse for people to gravitate towards you and so and that will also you know alleviate the stress that that comes within you and also alleviate the stress that comes within the other person through that through that tension because i feel that the more you persist on helping someone that doesn't want to be helped you end up, you know, worsening. You may worsen the situation at hand. They may become even more closed off because they weren't receptive of that, of what you were trying to give to them. And we have to understand that everyone on this planet, we're all going through our own, our own journey, our own struggles. You know, someone's chapter five may not be the same as your chapter five. You know, we're, we're all different books. We're all unique. We all have a different life life path that we're going towards in case in some cases we may have to uh, you know let fa certain family members go loved ones go you know leave them be as you continue on with your life and if the other party makes an attempt to reach out you know then you can assist them and if they don't make an attempt then you can just leave it be and just continue on with your life and it may be a, a tough decision to make however in my in my view i feel it's a beneficial 
decision in the long run. And so that will be the video. Much thanks for watching. If you guys have, you know, experience, have experience with any of this, you know, leave so in the comments below. We we can have a discussion down there or so. And yeah, that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.